What's going on everyone? Um, in my part one of the mill build, uh, I glossed over a lot of well, all the changes for the most part that I did to this machine uh, and the modifications I made and what I did to make it better or what I feel is better anyway. So I figured I would talk about some of them in case anyone is interested. So as I had mentioned in the video, all the column and the base are fully filled with epoxy resin for weight to help with stability and for vibration and dampening. Um, it'll help make this machine a lot more rigid and, and not shake stuff all over the place. Uh, all the Acme screws were replaced with uh, 25 millimeter anti-ball uh, backlash ball screws um, I had to custom make all the mounts for it uh, for the rails because the ways so it had to be moved away from the ways so it would work otherwise everything hit um, all the mounting for the ball screw and everything is uh, custom made um, it's got all the linear rails with 20 millimeter uh, ball screws, or not ball screws, sorry, uh, bearings, 20 millimeter bearings. Um, the head assembly is all custom made. Um, all the mounting, which you can't really see, but all that mounting inside was modified and custom made. Um, all the mounting up here for the motor. Um, I replaced the half horsepower motor with a three horsepower motor. Uh, so, and with the custom made all these uh, belt drives. Um, with the current setup, depending on which drive system you're using, it can go from zero RPMs all the way up to 7,200 RPMs, I think. Uh, if my math is right. Uh, I replaced the R8 um, spindle to, uh, R, uh, to a BT30, a um, little bigger, a little more rigidity. Um, that's about it for what's currently uh, on. If anyone has any questions or wants more information, just let me know. Leave a comment. All right, guys. Bye.